shiny pipes, a few rumbles, light panels here and there. It's hard to imagine that a place so calm and still could potentially revolutionize the future of energy in the Middle East and beyond. This is the first industrial scale green hydrogen production in the Middle East and North Africa. Hydrogen, a colorless gas, is the most abundant element in the universe. But on Earth, it's almost always found as part of another compound, like water. In order to produce energy, hydrogen needs to be extracted from fossil fuels, biomass or water. Today, 95% of hydrogen production relies on fossil fuels. However, there are greener options, fueling the process with renewable energy sources like wind and solar power. This is what green hydrogen means. At this plant in Dubai, solar panels provide power to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen is released into the air and hydrogen is stored to be used later on and converted into electricity during the night. This ability for storage is an added bonus. The sun doesn't always shine, the wind doesn't always blow, and this creates less reliability. Green hydrogen can be used as high-intensity, long-term energy storage. Opened just over a year ago, the hydrogen produced here is currently being fed into Dubai's energy mix. We take the stored hydrogen and we burn it, and we're producing around 280 kilowatt electricity and we feed it back to the grid. That's enough to power just under 10 average American homes per day. But there are plans to scale up the project and increase the output. There is big future demand for vehicle and to be used in transportation as well. We can also export it tomorrow to countries who want energy. There is still a long road ahead. More than $13 billion were invested in this pilot plant, and hydrogen production itself may be cost prohibitive. Currently, it costs between $3 and $6.5 per kg. So our hope to take that number to be less than $1 per kg. For now, the future of green hydrogen is still up in the air. But as quiet as it seems, this technology is making some noise in the discussion of the future of energy. Eleni Jokos, CNN.